This one I'm pretty confident I can make, but I don't want to get overconfident. <laughs> That's why. Do you know what this is? It's not a weird looking basketball hoop, it's a disc golf basket. I've only been disc golfing a couple times in my life, but I found out recently there's 432 disc golf courses in Minnesota, making it the third most in the country. I'm gonna meet up with Daniel Polk, a professional disc golfer, to show me the ins and outs, but first I gotta learn how to throw a disc. Disc golf's rise in popularity is because it's easy to learn and can be played by all ages and skill levels. It's played much like traditional golf, except instead of a ball and clubs, players use a flying disc. The object is to complete each hole in the fewest throws. A disc golf hole begins from a tee area and ends at an elevated chain basket. It's an extremely accessible and inexpensive outdoor activity. The majority of courses at public parks are free to play. Pay courses, public or private, range from five to 10 bucks. The price of most discs vary between 10 and $30. Other than that, just make sure you have some comfortable shoes to get you around the course. What do I need to know to get started? First of all, you need some discs. Here's a nice starter pack for you. Driver, that goes the farthest. We got a fairway driver, it's more controllable. Then we got a mid-range, and these are mainly shots for 250 feet. That seems like a long range to me. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> then I got you approach disc, so when you're a little bit closer to the basket. And then the putter, it's the straightest disc that you'll find. The way I throw is a backhand, and I curl my all my fingers into the rim, twist into an athletic stand and then you pull through don't go wide but nice and level then it should fly straight and forward oh oh okay you're throwing it like out there out there okay I feel like I should warm up before I pull something I might pull something sneezing much less <laughs> chucking this thing all right here we go that's not bad right there that this could be a little bit more overstable so meaning it goes to the left. All right. A little straighter than last time. Probably yeah. like 150 feet. I mean, that wasn't even your full power throw, so. Yeah, nice it was. and controlled. And, <laughs> and then you got the sidearm, you throw from the side, or they call forehand. That throw is awesome. That's your natural throw right there. I'm feeling like I got the basics down. Let's go have some more fun and see how these fly. Yes. Some of the original disc golf courses in the Twin Cities were installed in the late 70s and 80s, but it wasn't until the 90s and 2000s when they began popping up all over Minnesota, not just in public parks, private courses too. Minnesotans' financial investment and commitment to parks is a big reason we have so many courses, making Minnesota a destination for disc golfers as well as a location for pro tournaments. So this is hole one. Now the tee box, we can't step over this line, otherwise we get a penalty stroke. You see a little ditch right there? The mow line is the out of bounds line. If you land in it, it's a penalty stroke. This is a par three, so try to get it into three shots. The basket just right there looking for you to put it in there. Asking for it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we got it right there. That's I got a nice a approach. <laughs> Out of bounds, okay, yeah. We'll do a mulligan. Disc. Hopefully we can find that one. Sorry about the disc. A layup. Inbounds. And then this is where we keep track of our throws in our head. Where the disc is, you gotta stand behind it. Oh. That's just fine right there, you gotta putt. Drive for show, putt for dough. Not bad. There we go. <laughs> Is that why you're a champ? <laughs> Putting's the hardest part of the game. This one I'm pretty confident I can make. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> All right, hole number one, double bogey. Gotta start somewhere. This like, looks like a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> this gap is really tight. My throw for this is a forehand roller, which is a sidearm grip. I'm throwing this way, and I'm gonna let the disc land on the ground, and it roll. should roll forward. Oh, oh, it's rolled right out into the open. Well, let me show you how it's not supposed to look. <laughs> what you threw was a tomahawk, and that's when you saw the disc fly yeah. upside down. All right, second try. <laughs> <laughs> he makes it look easy. I would just pitch out. <laughs> okay. There you go. Best shot of this hole. Look at that. 
Oh. Ah. ah. That was a very easy looking par on a very challenging hole. Everything's more mental than physical. If you're able to let that go, you're gonna be able to do better on this hole. This is not about power. This is more about control. It's trying to stay in the middle. Uh, oh, it's like it was a decent bounce. <laughs> like the harder I throw, the more wild it's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. recognize I gotta close my hip a little bit more. Everything's your lever. Slide, slide, slide. Yeah. Is Not that bad. only a double bogey? All right. Oh, no. Oh, everybody can throw a bad one. Look at that. I make the mistake and you take advantage. It's my best tee shot. Want to bet five bucks on this? <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. I can see how addicting it can be when you see a good shot. The guy that taught me, he threw a whole football field length and I was hooked. <laughs> I didn't realize discs could fly that far. All right. And I just wanted to do it. When I do shots like that or when beginners see shots like that, that keeps them coming yeah. back for more and more. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. So I heard two weekends ago, you had a pretty big tournament. The Minnesota State Championships, it was the 41st annual okay. and I won it for the first time. <laughs> I mean, I've been playing this for so long. Congrats. It's my best haul so far. Only improvement, bogey. For my par save. Didn't we bet 10 bucks on that yeah, too? That is, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing a putter off the tee because there's water in the middle. Stink! Ah. Yeah! Okay. I made it past these first two near trees. Stay up, stay up. Oh, it's in the water! Oh. This one makes me nervous. Don't kick in there. Okay, so with that ice forming over that lake, do you play like year round or? Disc golf in Minnesota is year round. It's definitely an investment to play in the winter time. I mean, obviously you gotta find your disc so people tape ribbons to their disc. that will stick out of the snow. Yeah. yeah. People ever play at night? Oh yeah, we have these lights that we tape on our discs. And it's actually a lot of fun because it kind of makes it easier. You can't see all these branches. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We're gonna tie. Kobe. I keep on improving. I was wondering what your training is like. Disc golf, it's exploded. So the top pros, they're actually making a living off of this now where sure. when I started, it wasn't feasible. But now people are getting sponsored contracts and all that. So it's actually, a you career can do path. it for it. Yeah. yeah. In order for me to compete against the youth, which are getting good really fast, I always tell myself I got to work twice as hard. This is for par. Ah. Oh. <laughs> So are you originally from Minnesota? Originally from Pinyang, Arizona. That's where the Navajo reservation is. So oh, okay, yeah. I'm half Navajo. My dad's side is, I'm from San Carlos Apache and the Quetzan tribe. Is disc golf pretty common? To my knowledge, not very many natives at that moment playing. Nowadays, I do see some natives out as a native myself, I do want to see more of them enjoy the sport. From my teachings of my traditional life, being respectful for the gifts I'm given, I try to bring that into disc golf. Respect and gratitude are the things that I've felt stand out from what you bring to the game. So when people s just get started in this, what do they believe that might not be true? It's a stoner sport, but it's evolved. Like for me, I've never drank or smoke. You hear it on the native side too. Misconception that they're drunks, but I grew up this way and I can tell people, it's like, that's not true. You know, we all don't do that. And now I can say that about disc golf. People are diverse even among diverse groups. <laughs> yeah, and disc golf is, it's very diverse. That was sweet. I learned a lot about the sport. What's also really neat is you're probably not very far from a disc golf course that is either free or very affordable. 
Well, the high ones are more challenging. As far as technique, you know, it just took a lot of strokes, but I started getting the hang of it. I feel like today was as successful as I could have hoped for. It was awesome getting to know you. Thanks for sharing all your wisdom. What a cool guest, the current state champ. Guy really loves what he does. I would strongly recommend getting out there and giving it a try. It's Chance, baby, signing off.